Okay, shelf five. Alright, so here are the first three um, Walking Dead hardcovers. Initially, I just had the trades, which you can see there. Um, this first number one trade was the first graphic novel I ever got. It was a Christmas present, um, I think like four years ago, something like that. Um, and I was so excited, so thanks to this, I pretty much grew the whole entire bookshelf. Um, but basically, I wasn't gonna get the hardcovers, and then I bought it, and I got it signed by Robert Kirkman, um, at Amazing Arizona, at the Amazing Arizona Comic Con. Um, I really needed something for him to sign, and I didn't have anything really, so I bought it. And then two and three, I got his presents as well, because, you know, hardcovers are really good presents. <laughs> and, um, so yeah, so now I have those three, and then, uh, one through twelve of the paperbacks. Which I got a really good deal on. I think it was like 4 through 11. Paid like $24 for him. And uh, yeah, so that was a really easy buy and good way to build up my collection early on. Um, next to that is Wanted. Uh, I have not read it and I have not seen the movie, but um, I just had to get it. J.G. Jones is really good. I love his art style, and of course Mark Millar's good too. So, um, just, I guess an essential part of any collection. Then we've got two, first two Wasteland trades. Um, this is one of my favorite Oni Press books. It's really cool post-apocalyptic tale. It's got, um, some awesome, like, religious themes woven in, and it's just, the characters and the story is just excellent. Um, I don't, I don't know, it's pretty well regarded, but I feel like not enough people know about it, so that would be one of my wishes, that more people would pick up this book. And then we've got The Wasteland, which is a Piranha Press book, which is kind of hard to find. Um, it's by the guys who did Beautiful Stories for Ugly Children, uh, which is one of my absolute prizes, like my possessions, um, my favorite set of stories. Uh, this is basically, uh, like, a darker, uh, version of the Far Side comics, you know, where it's just, like, a single panel and just some silly joke on it, but, uh, I had to get this as soon as I could. Then there is Weathercraft, it's a Jim Woodring book. His illustration, <laughs> illustrations are amazing, uh, I got a really, really good deal on this book, so I had to get it. His stuff is just so far out and trippy and, like, beautifully rendered. Um, yep. <laughs> then another uh, Ben Templesmith book, Wormwood, Volume 1. We had Volume 2 at work, and then it disappeared, and I got really sad. Um, so, yeah, right now I just have the first one. Alright. Another excellent title, which I'm sure you all know. Um, Why the Last Man. Uh, I had, like, the first five vo volumes for forever, and then all of a sudden, six through ten showed up at work, and I snatched them up in, like, five minutes. Um, also, the, I had the two and the three, four trade paperbacks, and I got this to replace them, and slowly I hope to get all the hardcovers. Same with Preacher. Once they come in or whatever, I just want to upgrade because um, they're really nice collections. Then, uh, Young Liars Volume 1. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Um, the art's good, and it's just a really entertaining read. And, awesomeness, that is Bone. This is the fancy full-color hardcover edition. It was um, a Christmas present. Uh, not this last Christmas, but the one before that. I was really surprised. I had no idea it was coming, and I got it, and I love it so much. I I had meant to pick up the trade of, like, the full black and white collection, but for some reason, I always really, really love the color edition. Like, usually I prefer black and white, but just something about the way that this is uh, colored just drew me into it really well. But anyway, Bone, get it. It's good. Um, then here's the Vertigo Encyclopedia, which usually I don't like buy stuff like this, but I am in love with Vertigo, so I needed to get this, and it was like five bucks, so another easy selling point. 
Next to that we have Lost Girls, of course. Um, very <laughs> interesting read by Alan Moore. Um, I don't know what to say about it that is appropriate. <laughs> uh, next to that we have the Luna Brothers Girls. This is a uh, like ultimate edition. It's uh, oversized hardcover, so it's pretty much like an absolute, but it's not DC, so it's not technically called that. Um, it retails for like a hundred bucks, and they got it at not last Comic Con, but the one before that for twenty five dollars, and it was probably one of the best buys I've ever made. Um, I also found the girl uh, the version of this for the sword for about forty, so that was like sixty percent off, and I didn't buy it, and I have no idea why. And next to that's Absolute Justice, one of Alex Ross's best books. It's so beautiful inside. The story is pretty cool. Um, tons of heroes. It's just like a bombardment of wonderfulness. <laughs> and then Darwin Cook's um, New Frontier. Another freaking deal on this book. I can't believe it. Um, <laughs> it's so good. Uh, then uh, Absolute V for Vendetta, which was a birthday present a couple birthdays ago. I had no idea this one was coming either. Um... You know, some people are just really good at presents. <laughs> and then Absolute Watchmen, which I bought as a gift for my boyfriend. Um, for, I think it was Christmas, yeah. Uh, once they started reprinting it. Uh, definitely a good buy. Watchmen is good. I don't have much more to say than that. Um, here's 300. Uh, it is in mine, but it's in the collection. Uh, it's pretty good. Uh, uh, I think it beats the movie, but whatever. And then we have Holy Terror, which also isn't mine. I don't know that I would buy it on my own, but it's kind of out there. Um, definitely a decline in the storytelling of Frank Miller, but uh, <laughs> that's all about about all I'm going to say about that. Alright, so that is my last shelf on this bookshelf. Um, I do, however, have a few more books that do not fit on the shelf that I will show real quick, um, but I will save that for another short video.